This is the x-ray tube which contains your anode and your cathode. The x-ray tube shines a beam of light onto the table with a cross in the middle. The middle is the central ray that's used to line up the x-ray beam with the bone. This is a basic setup for an x-ray room. You can see your x-ray table here. The table is movable. Above it is the x-ray tube. This is where the beam of radiation is going to come from. And on the wall is another bucky tray used for doing chest x-rays. You can see that the x-ray table will move. You press down on the foot pedal and you can move the x-ray table around. Below the table is the bucky tray. That's where you would place your film cassette into there and under the table. Alright, anytime you're taking any kind of examination for x-ray, you need to prepare your room first before you get your patient. So you need to make sure that you have the proper cassette size, you need to make sure you have your lead markers, and you need to make sure you have your lead apron to properly shield your patient. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put my cassette in the bucky for a chest x-ray. Line up your tube to the bucky. And make sure you keep your shielding out and your markers out so you don't forget to use them. Then once you have everything set up, then you can get your patient. Hi, ma'am. I'm Cynthia. I'm going to be your x-ray tech today. You're having a chest x-ray? Yes. What kind of problems are you having? Oh, chest pain. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to have you come over here to the chest board. Put your chest against the board, please. Face the board. Good. And we're going to come over here and get our shield. Now you want to shield the back of the patient because the x-rays are coming in from the back to the front. Please hold that. You're going to have the patient roll their shoulders forward. You want to make sure that this line is going down the mid-sagittal plane, and this line needs to be about T7, and you can find that by finding the bottom of the scapula. Right about there. You always want to make sure that there's light above the shoulders also. And you can see that over here. Make sure your bucky's lined up. And put the marker on. I have the left marker, and I'm going to put it on the left side. And this would be our PA of the chest. Okay. Now we're going to do a PA of the hand, PA projection. And we're at 40 inches SID to the tabletop. And we're using a 10 by 12 detailed cassette. And you would, of course, remove the patient's ring. Okay, and I'm just uncocking the tube to make it the same direction that the cassette is going. And you'll be centering at the third metacarpal phalangeal joint. 
And you want to open your collimation up enough so that you don't clip any anatomy. And you also want to include the wrist joint. Okay, and this is our right hand, so I'm going to put a right marker on the cassette. And also you want to make sure that you do shield your patient. Okay? And that is it. Okay. Um, first of all, you never want to expose film in the daylight. That's why we go into a dark room, okay? But to be able to see this, we're going to do this in the daylight. What you'll do when you get in the dark room is you'll open your cassette, okay? You'll take out your film, you'll put your film in the processor, okay? And then you'll get a new film out of the film bin. You'll put it in the cassette. This is a brand new film. And then you will close the cassette and make sure that it locks. Okay? Once the processor beeps, you know that your film has gone all the way through. Make sure the film bin is closed, and then you're able to leave the room. Yeah. Okay. The last thing you need to do before you expose and make a perfect x-ray image, you need to set your perfect x-ray technique. So what you need to do is come to your control console. You have the KVP settings. This is a KVP minor, and it's going to move your KVP up one KVP at a time. This is your KVP major. It will move your KVP up 10 increments at a time. This is your MA selector. You always want for extremities a small focal spot and for a larger like chest you want a large focal spot. Then um, last but not least this is your seconds. Okay, MA times seconds equals mass. So this will give you your mass readout which is right here. So you um, measure the patient, figure out how many seconds you need, and then you set that accordingly. And this will give you your KVP reading and your mass reading. This is where your KVP reading is. Okay, right now it's saying 70 KVP. And then right here when you set your MA and your seconds, it's going to automatically, call it, or automatically calculate it for you, and this will be your mass readout, 2.5. This is your exposure button. This is how we actually make the x-ray exposure, by pushing down on this button. And it starts the rotor and then sends the electrons to the machine. Okay, I'm going to go over one more example of the inverse square law. So what you have here is says the exposure at six feet is 90 